it's a little bit quieter here in Perth than the last few times I've watched football matches here. I absolutely love my trips to McDermott Park to see St Johnston play. And just over there, that red building is the Tulloch Institute. That is where all the fans usually congregate and have their drinks before the game. But it's currently just past 10 o'clock. It's a 12.30 kickoff today between St Johnston and Celtic. I feel really, really appreciative of all the support recently. If it wasn't for the support of you guys, I wouldn't be doing the cool things that I've been doing this week. I was like pitch side at Anfield earlier this week for Liverpool v Rangers. And I've been invited down today by St Johnston um, for the Celtic game. So um, yeah, really, really cool. And uh, it's my second game of the weekend of four. I was at Open Goal Broomhill v um, Cali Braves last night in the Lowland League. I'm here this morning in Perth for St Johnston v Celtic. I've got the short trip across to Dundee for Dundee United v Aberdeen um, this evening and then tomorrow I'm at Kilmarnock versus Hearts but here we are on Tulloch Terrace for St Johnston versus Celtic Two big Celtic fans, as I can see. How would you say the last few weeks have gone? Um, last couple of games have been a bit rough. Um, other than that, great. Yeah, you've had a great start to the season, but it's yep. just like the St Mirren result and maybe the Champions League games could have gone a little bit better. But yep. who do you think, player-wise, will really make the difference for you today? Because obviously Callum McGregor's out, isn't he? I'm going to say Hattati. Hattati, yeah. He's got to be a big influence yep. on today. And what do you think the score's going to be? 2-1, he's going tight. Yourself? I'm going to say 2-1 as well. 2-1 as well. Big game today, isn't it? Early kickoff. but what do you think the score's going to be for Celtic? 9-0. 9-0, he's going for about you. 8-0. 8-0, and who's going to be the best players? Kyogo. Kyogo and? Kyogo. Kyogo. My name is Gregor Sleeth. I do the media here at St Johnson Football Club. And so, firstly, how did you get into commentating here at St Johnston? So, I done a sports journalism degree at University of Western Scotland in Ayrshire. Yep. And then I joined Caledonian Braves in the Lowland League, done a lot of their media work, and eventually worked my way up to St Johnston. And we do a lot of stuff day to day here. Um, Commentary wise, it's usually Watty, who a lot of St Johnston fans will know, Stephen Watt and Ross Gardner. They're our volunteers, they've been doing it for years. Yeah. Uh, we only stand in and do a terrible job. <laughs> um, when, I'm sure you don't. When, uh, whenever they're not available, we'll stand in. Amazing. And for anybody watching, where can they find that online? Yeah, so Saints TV, um, you can listen to the media block out. It's nothing to do with clubs. If it was up to us, we'd have access to all our fans. But yeah. due to the media blackout, only Saints subscribers abroad can actually watch the game, but Saints subscribers in the UK and Ireland can listen um, if they pay a monthly subscription. Cool, and that all happens up there, right? That's the hub where all the cameras that's are and the commentary the, hub and stuff. Where, that's where the magic happens, yeah. And it's a big game today. How exciting is it for you to be involved in such a massive occasion like this? Celtic, of course, coming here. Yeah, it's, it's massive. It's a real privilege, obviously, to work in football. Um, some folk hate their job, and, but coming it makes it worthwhile on a day like this when you get to deal with Celtic and all the big games. And it should be a good game, obviously. They're kind of got a few injuries and stuff at the moment so yeah. you never know you think that St Johnston might be able to get a result today obviously Callum McGregor's out so we've had a few iffy results St Mirren Champions League results as yeah, well yeah listen you never know uh, it's just a game of football at the end of the day it's 11 v 11 yep. I think if, as long as we don't play like we did against Coman at the midweek before that we were three games unbeaten so yep. you never know what happens I always get a fantastic welcome when I come to St Johnston it was brilliant um, just to chat to Greg all day I've seen his stuff at Caledonian Braves on their YouTube channel before and now he's working here on comms for St Johnston so fantastic to see so many young up and coming people working in the media in Scottish football it's really really brilliant to see but look here we are now at St Johnston and the music isn't even on in the stadium but look the sky cameras are all getting ready down there we've got a few club officials maybe referees and stuff like that look the security team are getting their briefing over there we've got the sky cameras over in that corner too but here we are today in the press box we've got this bib i don't know where the bib gets us um so we'll have to check out bib access later on <laughs> maybe um but yes look got my laptop here today game number two of the weekend so I'm about to set up my laptop do a bit of editing just like I did last night at Open Gold Broom Hill against Cali Braves and I'll chat to you very very shortly.
here we go we've made it look I can now say that I'm officially pitch side at St Johnston versus Celtic the same week we've done Anfield and Edinburgh and uh, Open Goal Broomhill as well. I'm here with all the Saints ball boys. You all are St Johnston fans, oh yeah? Uh, some of us are. Some of us are, some of you are. So what do you reckon the score is going to be today? Uh, Tough one? I think Celtic obviously be the favourite, so I think it'll be 2-0 uh, Celtic. He's going for 2-0. What do you lads reckon? Do you reckon Saints? 5-0 Celtic. 5-0 Celtic? 3-0 Celtic. 3-0 Celtic. 3-0 Celtic. Is anyone thinking Saints? You are. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. You? No Saints. He's going Saints as well. Kyle go hat trick. Kyle go hat trick. You heard it here first. Wow, the old pink bib worked wonders, the old photographer bib. Um, amazing, what fantastic access I've been given here at St. Johnson. What an amazing club, I've seen loads of games here before. The European games, I saw the kind of derby against Dundee last season. That was a nil-nil, not the best, but then I also did see the playoff game against Inverness, which kept St. Johnson in the Premiership, which is why they're playing Celtic today, because of um, their fantastic performance that day, I suppose. But um, yeah, what a cool club. Here we go, listen to this. Max Kucharavi, so he is from Ukraine and he played for Kelty last season. I've never had him on the video, but I spoke to him on the pitch during the Kelty title celebrations because I think he scored the winning goal of the game that secured them the title. I don't think it was the last game of the season, but the game where it was mathematically then certain that Kelty would win the league. I think he scored the goal. And it's his first start for St. Johnson today. Like I say, last season on loan at my beloved Kelty in League Two. And now, fast forward a few months, he is starting his first game for St. Johnston against Celtic. Here we go, we're back at an early kickoff in Scotland. I love these early kickoffs. Here's the old uh, cinch ring, ready for the players to come out. And then look at this, we've got Celtic fans behind that goal. We've got Celtic fans in this stand with some St. Johnston fans. We've got St Johnston fans over there. That's where the ultra sit, Fair City Unity. You always give me a great reception and more Celtic fans behind that goal as well. Davey, right. you are a Celtic fan, right? Yeah. And you were in Leipzig. Leipzig. How was the trip out in Leipzig? It was a really hard place to get to, yep. but a beautiful city. But a beautiful city. Beautiful obviously, city. here in Perth today against St yeah. Johnston, what do you think about today's game? Are you confident? 2-3-0, I hope. Sam, it's been a bit of a mad week for myself. Yep. Um, I was in Leipzig during the week um, for three days, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, coming in Celtic in the Champions League. Yep. Um, I've gone to Naples at the end of the month. I've done Hearts in Europe as well. Wow. Uh, so it's, 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 it's been a, a mad season, just getting to go around the grounds, covering Scottish football. What a life. Are you working in Scottish football? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the dream, that's the dream, Sam. And what have you thought of the game here so far? Terrible. Boring. A rare St Johnston attack has led to a corner here. Much will sell it, but here we go. As 
you can see and hear from the noise in here. Wow, look at the Celtic fans in the sun. It is 1-0 to Celtic here after 42 minutes. It's an own goal, wide across. and it is St Johnston nil, Celtic one. So this is where it all happens, right? Yeah, oh. yeah from the first team analysis. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's all the comms desk here. You can get a job if you want. Mate, this is unbelievable, look at that. I don't think I'm good enough for like live comms, <laughs> at least I can edit what I do. So this is Saints TV, right? Yep, so Saint, where... this, is, this is Saints TV. This is QTV, so they do it for Sky. Yep. You guys walk. You got Ian Crocker and they walk. Oh, of course, yeah. This is the race for the buys half time. The real professionals over there. So as you've just seen, the second half has just kicked off. How interesting was it um, just then seeing inside the St Johnston um, commentary area there for the Saints TV? Again, if you're a Saints fan, sign up and support um, the club by living at Saints TV. Um, they've really hooked me up today with uh, the access to the game and stuff, but so busy today on a day like this when Celtic come to town. Obviously all the Sky cameras are in there, we saw their commentators in there too, so um, yeah, a lot more people here from the media side of things um, than would usually be here, but yeah, like I say, the game has just kicked off again here. It's currently Saints and Neil, Celtic 1. St Johnston early in the second half. sub again and as it's still 1-0 that's a dangerous score obviously but yeah Stevie May they've had him always seems to come off the bench when I'm here it's just hit the beams so we've just been past the post-it note 7,000 in attendance here today what are you thinking about that how do you think the atmosphere has been yeah it's been, well, it's, it's been all Celtic fans yeah as how much of the 7,000 would you say are away fans 5,000 yeah probably about that oh chance here. They actually have had quite a few chances, um, but I feel like it's got a Stevie May late equaliser written all over it, especially as Celtic have uh, missed a few chances themselves and had a couple disallowed as well. Could be one of them days, you never know. So just one chance! Oh! They can't believe it. Exciting end to the game, it's so end to end. Deep into stoppage time here, Saints with a free kick. Oh, oh, oh my god, Saints have scored! Oh, 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 no way! Oh, the longer this one went on, the more chances they were getting. Oh, god, look at that. The scenes. Celtic have missed chances, they've had a couple disallowed, and St Johnston. I've kept in this one. Wow, what an end to the game. You are on the ball, look at that. He's filming a stoppage time as well. Still like two or three minutes to go here. Two and a half minutes left, yeah.
once again. What a match of football this has been. Same for the final attack, Stevie Mays hit one. And that is full time.